Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're listening to the podcast Capturing Magic. I'm Bill Rogers, the voice of Disney. Thanks very much for listening. Hey everyone, welcome to Capturing Magic. I'm Steph from CapturingMagic.me and I am here today with Heather Winfield from HeatherW.com forward slash character. Hi, Heather. Hi. Thanks for being here again today. Always. It's so much fun. Thank you. And then Tanya Hickman is also here today and she can be found at EveryMagicMoment.com. Hi, Tanya. Hi. Thank you for being here today, too. I appreciate it. Oh, we love doing it, so. Yeah. We're a package deal, in case you're going to tell. <laughs> so true. What a good package deal you are. <laughs> okay, today we are going to be talking about ways that we're documenting our Disney trips. Things have changed a little bit, not so much. Maybe for some of us, it's changed a lot more than others. I guess I'll put it that way, over since the show very first started. Tanya. Yes. What have you done in the past and what are you doing now? Okay. In the past. Um, I have always posted to social media. That's my main way of documenting, I guess, is sharing. I don't really document for myself. I document for others. <laughs> like, <laughs> I like to share my photos. <laughs> but I did after um, I made my – I made a uh, – an Adorama Picks uh, Disney World book of my 2011 Disney World trip. And after that, I've been on a kind of a photo book kick. It's hard for me to get the time to get a book done. It's it's like the most difficult thing ever for some reason for me. I don't just sitting down and organizing is actually what the hard part is. Not putting the book together. That's easy. Yeah. But sitting down and organizing photos. Um, but I've gotten on this thing where like I want to try like all the different photo book companies. <laughs> To see how they can look. <laughs> like, I know Adorama is the best. In my opinion, that is the best for, like, a sturdy is going to last forever book. But sometimes I'll see, like, advertisements on Facebook and stuff pop up for, like, these cheap photo books. And I'm like, I could try that out. I have day trips from Disneyland that I can do small books on, you know? Yeah. So um, I've been doing that a lot. I've tried chat books. There's a couple of other ones I can't even think of the names of now. I'll have to find out what they are and link them up. But most of them have been pretty good. So, I mean, I try to get I try to get stuff into books as much as I can. Yeah. But for the most part, that's I've been trying I've been doing that for I don't know, the past couple of years, I guess. And then this last trip I'm mainly just doing um on Instagram right now, but I will definitely make a book in the future. We had some good photos this time around, so Okay, it's a so lot. We, sorry, it's a, no. I was gonna say it's a lot easier to um, get the photos together to make a book with having Photo Pass now, having Photo Pass included in my annual pass. So I have a lot more nice photos. Like I don't have to kind of sift through icky photos. I know, and I almost only want to do just a Photo Pass photo book. Like really, that's right? kind of. I don't want to put my not as good photos in there up next to the photo pass photos. I'm, I'm a sucker for like scenery shots. And so I probably have always end up having way more scenery shots than I do photos of people. So that's always a kind of a difficult thing for me too, because you'll go through my photo books and be like, Oh, here's four pages of just rides. Like <laughs> there's no people in any of these photos. So that's something I have to like work on. It's fine if I have like 10 pictures of Big Thunder Mountain, but like maybe I should throw in one of me on the ride. That might tell the story a little bit better. <laughs> I think it's all good. Really. Yeah. It's all good. So you, you've done a photo book though that you made with some templates and. Yes. And I, <laughs> it's, a, it was, uh, what is it called? It's called, it's the how to scrap 1500 scrap photos. Year, year. Like, yeah. Scrap your year. It, um, is I'm trying to think of how to describe it. <laughs> like, it's a system, really, like a system, a series of videos that you can go through, and it comes with paperwork and all this stuff for you to organize. It's to scrap your year, which is nice, but I use it as the tools that they gave me to scrap a, a Disney trip, and it worked out beautifully. It's they give you uh, videos on like how to organize your photos and what photos you should be choosing and all this stuff. I don't know. It was great. And I, I had a, um, a coupon for Adorama that I needed to use. I had like one month 
until the expiration date. And I was like, I got to get it. It's a great coupon for an eight by eight book. I was like, I need to get it done. So I literally sat down and I'm, if I followed the rules of this, uh, of the 1500 photos in a weekend, I think is what they said you can do it in. I probably could have gotten it done in a weekend, but I spaced it out a little bit more to not completely burn myself out. But I had that book done in like less than two weeks for sure. And that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And it actually, so it's called Scrap Your Year and it's at the Daily Digi and it's actually a class and there's tons of templates included in it. Yeah. I've used her system before in the past and and you can really get things done very quickly and it's on sale right now for $15. That's really good. It's a really (laughs) good deal. And it's absolutely worth the $15, you guys. Yeah, absolutely. She's getting ready to clearance it out, and I think she's going to be taking it down, from my understanding. So you'll want to go to the dailydigi.com and then click on classes and go to Scrap Your Year and grab it really quick. Because there's at least probably $30 worth of templates alone. I actually, those I loved those templates so much that um, when I started my, like, uh, scrap like my scrap my year last year and and I was doing it like per week per you know as I was going I was using Mm -hmm. those templates I love those templates yeah they're great do you did you fill any of the photo spots with papers or anything like that um not did you just do photos just for my photo just photos and then it has um like a long um section on it for you to put like the date because you're supposed to be scrapping your year um I filled that with journaling for my Disney World album because I was smart enough to when we right when we came back from Disney World, I wrote everything down. That's I went so day good. by day and wrote everything. So two, three years later, when I actually got around to completing the album, I just had to copy and paste everything. And so that made it a lot faster as well. Um, but really when good. I do when I do my um my weekly layouts, I've been adding papers and cards into them. Okay, good. Yeah, because you easily it, could. Yeah, very easily. Very easily. You could use pocket pocket cards, what you mm-hmm. know, journaling cards, filler cards, all that good stuff. You could easily yeah. use those. Oh my gosh. I love those templates. <laughs> I know. I really yeah, do. they're great. They're really great. And she has a guide and instructions and everything. So if you're and we ought to mention it's Photoshop. Yes, it is or Photoshop. Photoshop and elements. It includes paperwork for you to organize each page. And it's yes. amazing. Like I was able to Um, say how many, like I, on this page, I wanted this many photos and I had this many horizontal photos and I had this many vertical photos. And then you match up a template that's closest to it. There were instances where I had more photos than spots. And I, um, because I know the basics of Photoshop, I was able to make more spots on the pages very easily. Yeah. I did that that sometimes too. too. I kind of mixed and merged and cause it's totally editable. Yeah, and I, I seriously, I couldn't believe how fast I got that album done. I and I was so excited to actually have a Disney trip album done. Yay! <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you, and I, out of all of my trips that I've been on, out of all of the documenting that I do and that I have done, Disney trips really are the most difficult to complete. They are, yeah. Because there's Absolutely. so much, and yeah, there's just so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The last photo book that I did was for 24 hour a day. So I had a whole book of just one day. <laughs> so, yeah. oh, wow. And it, and it was hard even to kind of narrow some of those pictures down. And so to, to, to think to do a whole trip, like in a weekend, there's no way I could do that. And that took, I don't even know how long that took me, but, uh, but that's, you know, the problem is I take so many pictures. Like I, if I scrap like a parade, I have to do a layout for each section of the parade. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. You know, I take so many things. Yeah. Now you see why I haven't really finished a book for a trip. I have my very first trip. Yeah. I have a couple of of layouts I still haven't finished, but I was, like, almost done, but I still haven't finished that one, so. Wow. (laughs) They don't even make photo books that big, Heather. (laughs) I have, because I had started that. That was back when I was um, paper scrapping. Mm. So... I have a lot of that was paper scrapping and then I started in Digi. So it's both. So I was printing it as, you know, 12 by 12 pages in, and putting them in several albums. And I have a whole stack because I haven't even put them in an album of, I don't even know where I was. Cause like I said, this was 2007. Can I say that was the trip I'm talking about? So, yeah. 
<laughs> but I've, I've done photo books for like like flower and garden to like just that part of a trip or that kind of thing. That's the closest I've gotten. That's really funny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You, you have done some really good stuff though. Why don't you share with everyone what, how you've been doing lot your stuff. <laughs> how you've been documenting Disney. Your stuff. How do you do your stuff? <laughs> how do you do your thing? <laughs> I mean, you know, I, again, when I first started, I, you know, I, was, I still love scrapping, even though it's, I'm not doing it as much as I was. Well, I'm starting to get back into it, but it's, it's hard for me to do just a photo book, like in that same sense. Cause I did do a, an Anorama one that was a couple of years ago, the trip I took to Disneyland with Tanya and I wanted to get everything in there. And I did an Instagram book where it just mostly use those pictures. So that was the closest I had, but I still like doing the whole, you know, using the papers and elements and layering them up and everything. So it's harder for me to just say, like, okay, I'm just going to like do a photo book. You know, does yeah, that make yeah. sense? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah like no, I, I always want to do that, but then like I'll get a couple pages in, I'll be like, this is going to take me like a millennium. Like, yeah. <laughs> That, that's the problem <laughs> but it's just like I mean that's why when I'm taking the cruise and I really 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 want to be able to do you know a book with that so I don't know if I'm going to go back to doing sort of how I had I used to after every trip I would go and I would write I have a list of every single thing we did so you know like it's like a parade a show a character where we ate and you know by by the park, by the land, like all that, like really, you know, OCD-ish type of way of doing it. And then, you know, just crossing it off when I scrapped it. And when you, just, when you mark things off, it feels like you're accomplishing something. So I think then it makes you want to do more. But I I feel like I'm going to have to do that for this kind of book. But right now, I, you know, same thing. I'm, I'm not posting on Instagram as much as Tanya because I usually like to do it while I'm on the trip. And I... I've been kind of getting away as much. I don't. I don't feel like I'm posting as much as I had been, but I don't know. Maybe maybe people who follow me don't feel that way. But <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, I then when, once I come home and I want to post pictures, it's just I don't like I don't have an excuse. What do I use to post the picture? But I one of the things I do use is the chat books. I know Tanya mentioned it before, and the, it basically what it does is take your picture from Instagram and it makes a book. It's like sixty pages. And then they send it to you. You know, if you have like your credit card and file or whatever, and you don't you don't have to do anything to it. But then you can go in and you can edit it. So if you want to edit your captions, like I always go in and I edit the billion hashtags I have. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the the cool thing too is that you can do a book just by hashtag. So I have um I'm trying to remember which hashtag, but it's one of my run Disney hashtags, and it's one of like my own. Like it's, I think actually might be the capturing magic one. The, I was gonna say it's your CM uh, run Disney. I know yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty. Yeah, I think that's the one that I use. So, and then it just then it pulls all my run Disney pictures, and so like I'll have a book. Sometimes it's of just that whole race weekend. Sometimes depending if there's less pictures, but it's it's a fun thing, and it's you know a nice little book I don't know what size it is what do you think it is like six by six ish yeah I think so and I mean I think like the quality is pretty good and they're cheap I have like a code that some people can use if you want like the first one free to try it I don't know if you want it or you want to put it like in the show notes or anything or yeah anything like that so for the price it's pretty decent quality yeah and it's you know like I said since it's like a small thing you know you can skim through it the only thing you have to make sure when when you get to the 60 pages, they send you an email and they say you have like three days to edit. So make sure you go and you edit if you want to do that. Cause you know, once or twice I'll forget. And then I get the book and it's a one page is just, you know, my caption. <laughs> because <laughs> those hashtags take up all that space. So, you know, I have to do that, but otherwise it's good. And you can go in, even if you have pictures that are excluded because of that hashtag, you can still go back in and put it back in and, I know they have other kinds that you can go in and use your own pictures that aren't on Instagram, but this is, I think, just a really easy way to just have something. So I I have a book at least with, you know, some of my run Disney pictures. Yeah. Okay. One of the features that I love about chat books books that I think we have to talk about, because if you don't want to post your pictures on Instagram and you, you can even do this while you're in the Disney parks, you can set it up to connect with your favorites. So you favorite a photo 
and, you know, just in your photo stream and it will automatically go into the chat books book that that's, you're building. That's nice. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. That was, that's one of my main issues with chat books and, um, or at least getting from Instagram into chat books because I am a stickler for things being in order. Like I want my books to be in order. And yeah. a lot of the times, you know, it's, I, when I'm at Disney, I'll maybe for the whole trip post, I think this last trip I posted maybe 15 photos while I was there. And now I'm posting everything once I'm home. So if I were to have that printed into a book, it would be completely out of order. And that would drive me insane. <laughs> like, I don't know why I just, it, that irritates me. So that's the one thing I didn't like about chat, uh, about the subscription based part of chat books. But if you can go through and add them through your favorites, like then you can put them in in order. But you can also like turn it off and then turn it back on like the actual picture if you go through and I'm sure it takes time. But if you want to put it in order, because I did that once because I'm kind of like that, too. I like to have it in order. Just Oh, yeah, absolutely. Once I do the post it, it's like whatever. I made a normal book through them for a trip because I wanted to get everything and I wanted to have like exactly 60 photos because that's another thing. (laughs) I wanted to have like the one trip in one book. I like the idea of chat books, but sometimes it doesn't work for me. Okay. So have you, cause you can make a book from scratch too. And that's what you're saying you did to, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. There, it's a great thing. And I just recently tried them. I had seen other people's chat books and I'll be honest, the quality that I saw from other people's books wasn't that great, but I decided it's, to try, it's not the best. well, I decided to try my own with my own photos uh-huh. You know, and so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I did that, and actually, I was pleasantly happy yeah. and surprised with the quality. And so, what you you know, you can only get as good out as what you put in, right? That's but, one of yeah. the, pro- the problems with using the Instagram photos is right. sometimes those aren't those the quality, quality. The quality of those just aren't quite as good as like using an actual photo. Yeah, I uploaded actually some layouts that I had done in the Project Life app just so that I could compare quality wise to see what it did. And for the price, especially, I would say I was happy with the quality. It was mm-hmm. good for the price. Yeah. Oh yeah. For the price. Totally. Yeah. I've yeah. had some books that were just a l- little bit more expensive and the quality is so bad. <laughs> like so bad. I would agree with that. I, especially yeah. I would say if I was comparing it to Shutterfly, I would prefer mm-hmm. chat books over Shutterfly. Yeah. And and maybe a lot of people will disagree with me on that. But I've I've not I'll disagree, been happy with but... <laughs> shutterfly quality. Ha ha, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean I, I I'm trying to remember the last time I did Shutterfly. Maybe it was that twenty four hour day book. And I mean it's fine, you know. I I think Adorama is the best, you know, of, of the the books that I've tried. So but you, I th- you can't think those you know, Shutterfly yeah. that when I've done it. I mean, I think it's pretty good. And they've been really good if there's an issue, you know, fixing it quickly and painlessly. (laughs) (laughs) I think that's important because I try to remember the name of the company. It was some company years ago and I tried through them because you know how you're always getting coupons for things. I'll try it. Mm -hmm. And it was horrible. I mean, it was like if I had printed it at home on draft (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and like I, I went and right away I just went and got it printed again at Shutterfly because it was just like I'm not <laughs> I, can't, I can't deal with that that was that was awful that was my trip that I had pictures from 1985 my first trip to Disney and I actually finished that so I guess I can finish that trip but that wasn't many pictures was there like you know? five photos <laughs> there was a little more but it wasn't it was like a whole thing because I I thought they were lost and yeah. like I can still see the the, the photo album that they're in but I don't know where it is but we found the negatives one day oh. and so we were able to go and bring them in and they made prints from it and then like the next day almost the camera that camera store closed because you know how hard it is with these camera stores now yeah. Yeah. so thank goodness they didn't close when they <laughs> the <laughs> negatives yeah. but so, so I, I did a, a thing uh, you know I scrapped like real scrapping you know from that so is I have that book at least not that I remember <laughs> that trip, but, yeah so but, the did we mention the price on the chat books $15 no. that's at least I looked it up that's how much my book was $15 for a 60 page book and they used really to be cheaper than that. than that yeah I thought it was, I and thought maybe it was like if maybe if you $6. have subscription it's 
subscription. Oh, yeah, it's not a subscription, yeah. and like I don't even know. It just takes it out. But I know when they when I first was doing it, it was six dollars. Yeah, it was six dollars. And then yes, I knew it they was. changed over to something, and they were like, "They'll grandfather you in if you had that." So I did that. Yeah. So I I don't know what I'm getting, but like the the code thing I have is a dollar off. I think they're or no, $10. it's free. No, it's free. It's free books, they're so. either eight dollars or ten dollars now. I forget. Then why did I pay fif- 16 or 17? What the <laughs> probably heck? Because, probably and because it's because different when you... We, yes. yeah, well, yeah, that too. <laughs> like, but I think it's different when you... Um, something about the adding the pictures from the phone like and not from Instagram. Oh, okay. Yeah. It so makes when it goes, price. Yeah, they have several different kinds of things. And the one that just, just pulls it right from it is the cheapest one. And then they have different, you know... Models. If you want to yeah. have control over the, like, more control over the book, which you have to I pay did. a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what I did. I think <laughs> Chapbooks also has, like you said about adding the pictures from your favorites. They also have, I thought they did at least, the um, where family members can contribute photos and stuff too. Yeah. Like a shared yeah. album, right? Yeah. There's yeah. also a, um, if you do like the hashtag thing and you can add other people who are like contributors. Hashtag. So yeah. So like if I, you know, had... I could add Tanya and then I could say we could use our hashtag from the trip and then we can make a book. Although that would be like 50 books for the two of us, yeah. but <laughs> you know, so that's a cool thing that you can do. And I, I think that's still for the, the thing, like we're talking about the series thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I, yes. I just to give a little background history. I don't know if you guys remember several years ago when I talked about the family, the just family app. I've talked mm-hmm. about it on this podcast and on other websites and podcasts and stuff. But so Just Family, the people that started Just Family kind of started Chatbooks as well. And it kind of integrated into one whole company. So if oh. you were set up with Just Family, then you automatically started getting emails and stuff like that for Chatbooks. Because my husband and kids were like, why do I get these emails? <laughs> <laughs> So I explained it to them. It's because we were on just family. So that's funny. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, okay. What am, is that? Does that cover all your stuff, Heather? That you're doing? Did we miss something? Yeah. No, yeah, you're I mean, digital I, scrapbooking too. Yeah, I mean that's mostly what I do. Is I guess is <laughs> the digital scrapbooking. So, I mean, I do a lot of like the pocket style scrapping, yeah. but I also do like layered. Like I can't really say I want to just do this or the other. I just whatever. I feel like doing in the moment, I guess. I don't, you know, but I'm I'm mostly scrapping my Run Disney stuff because yeah. I'm I again I have it in my head to like have a book for that, and we'll see if that ever happens. But but that's pretty much what I'm I'm work right working on right now, and you know I I have a lot of lists that I keep. I have character lists. I have um I have a book with the bibs and then I have on like the other side I have a whole thing that I, I write out like you know the the race the race weekend characters I met like all that kind of stuff and then the notes from it and I write out everything and I try to do it immediately that I get home or right after a race because I keep it for non-Disney ones too and then this way I have a you know the documented sort of <laughs> the the race and I can go back and see you know how did I feel when it was you know, the weather, how did I run, that kind of thing. So it's kind of a sort of <laughs> scrapping it or, you know, without the pictures, I guess. But it's a way to document it. Also, because some non-Disney races, they don't have medals. So in this way, that's the only way to have something concrete from it is with the bib. So I keep that book. I guess it's kind of documenting it is. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. The, this, uh, I just thought of another show. So I'm going to promise every, our listeners right now, we're going to do this and then you guys can help me remember too. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to do a show on how, what kinds of things we document and how we do it. Like writing, because I have a system in place every time I go on a Disney trip for, cause you mentioned the weather for different things and that I want to make sure I document and take notes of, and then the different ways that I do it. So mm. we'll do that next time. Or another time we record. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not the next time after this show because we're recording. I'm a little bit out of order, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Tanya, did you have anything else? Or are you still digi scrapping? Um, yeah, kind of. Yeah, you know, yeah. 
<laughs> I am, but not like with any rhyme or reason of getting anything done. Mm-hmm. I um, I just I scrap for fun at this point. Yeah. Like, if one day it all comes together and actually is an album, <laughs> hooray for me! <laughs> Yay! Like, but if I want to get an album done, I have to work on like solely an album. That's how I have to do it too. Yeah. Yeah, and I need a deadline because, like yeah. you were saying about having the coupon yeah. code, that's the best kind of deadline to have. It is absolutely <laughs> like it gets my button gear. That's the truth. Okay, so we, my, um, I've been doing photo books for for all of my Disney trips lately over the last several years. I haven't gotten all of them done, but any any trip that's <laughs> been done has been in a photo book. Whether it's been digital scrapbooking recently, I'm kind of a Project Life app. The app is so easy to use. uh, Yeah. I don't even know what the word is for what I am, (laughs) but I'm something. (laughs) That's what, that's how I'm doing everything. And I, my goal is by the end of the year right now, I have 850 pages that I've done over almost a two year period. Not quite two years. I'm in the, in the app, in the app. Yeah. Oh my gosh. (laughs) That's a lot of pages. It's a lot of pages. And I'm the thing that's amazing about it is I'm not setting a time aside big chunks of time. I'm just doing it here and there. But I my goal is to have a thousand pages done by the end of the year. Easy. Uh go yeah. (laughs) Easy peasy. Just 150 more to do. That's it. But I posted on Instagram on my regarding stuff account and I will also be posting it on the Capturing Magic fan uh, Facebook fan page and um whatever they call it. And on the Capturing Magic website too. I did a photo book of my December 2015 Disneyland trip with my sister and her daughter and my daughter. And it was so fun. And it turned out to be 82 pages. Yikes. Yeah, it was a big book. It was a big book. But there was a lot to document. It was such a fun trip. And so many fun memories with those girls. It was a surprise trip. My daughter didn't know that she was going until the morning when I woke her up. And then they didn't know that they were going to have their cousin and aunt there until we actually got to the park. How fun. I just saw that video. Did you see that video? Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I posted also on my Instagram um, a video of how the QR codes, how you scan them and the videos pop up because I've been including tons of video in my books too. I love doing that. I like so, it. I included video in my Disney World book too, except for my videos are linked to YouTube so anybody could see them if they want to. <laughs> I don't, I have to, I love Dropbox and I really need to pay to like for the upgraded storage because I use Dropbox more than anything. And it, I see that you you link your photos to Dropbox, right? Or your videos. I do some in Dropbox. And I've just started using Google Photos, too. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't. Yeah, I, 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 get sc- I get scared with Dropbox. Because if I fill up Dropbox and I have all those videos in there and I have to move them, I don't, again, and I also don't pay for the QR codes that you could change. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't either. Yeah. I don't either. So yeah. if I were to, have, were to have to take them out of Dropbox, then they wouldn't work anymore. Yeah, I totally get that. So, it, I mean, it, it's what works for you. You can set YouTube videos up so that you have to have the link, the direct link in order to access That's them. That's true. If you wanted to, I, you know, some people, it doesn't matter to them one way or another. Some people want them to be private. So if you want them to be private, I would suggest going with YouTube and setting it to a private link or Dropbox or Google Photos too. Yeah. Any of those is a good, is a good way to go. But we, I'll be doing a full post on Capturing Magic about my book. I've shared a lot of the layouts over that I, as I've been creating them on Facebook, on Capturing Magic, on um, the Capturing Magic Instagram. I found, though, that most of our Instagram followers really aren't interested in seeing the layouts. So I've really tried to just do them on the website and on Facebook because that's where people tend to like them the most. Mm-hmm. Whenever I post a digital scrapbook layout on my Instagram I always get people say what app did you use to yeah. do this how did you yeah. do it and it's just like I can't start explaining all that on here so, yeah. You know, just, yeah what what collage app is that yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no we in that post when that post goes live I want to give everyone a heads up that there will be an Adorama Picks coupon code too so start Woo-hoo. if you want to do an Adorama Picks book start working on it so that you can have it done it should be Ready to go uh, mid October. Well, like the second week in October, sometime. So, 
that's kind of fun. I did a 10 by 10 photo book, which I love, love, love the 10 by 10 size so much. I don't know if I've ever gotten one that size. You Wait, is my book t- is my book 10 by 10 or 8 by 8? I don't even know now. <laughs> I don't oh, know either. <laughs> I'm going to have to go measure it because I'm <laughs> not sure. I think it's 8 by 8. I think it's 8 by 8. We'll just go with that. Hold a piece of paper up to it, and then you should know. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> uh, but I do need you guys to send me photos, too, so that we can put photos in the post yes. of your projects and stuff that you're working on. Heather actually does send me – or she up, you upload your layouts. People can find them on Pinterest on the Capturing Magic team layout board and Ooh. also the Capturing Magic Flickr group because you upload them there, too. Yeah, I upload them everywhere. (laughs) Yay, I love seeing them. (laughs) I love seeing them. I could barely remember that they're on my computer, let alone to upload them places. (laughs) 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 They make it into my photo bucket, and that's pretty much it. (laughs) That's why I go and I, uh, you know, I post them. I do it everywhere at once. Yeah. It's awesome. It's incredible. Okay, is there anything else you guys are doing that you want to share? Did we cover it? Yeah, no, I think yeah. we're done. I think that's it. Yeah, okay. I think you need to somehow keep me accountable to to do this <laughs> cruise album because I, I really want to be able to have something concrete. Something to show. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to figure out what will work for you then because <laughs> I kind of, you know, I've tried that before. Yeah. <laughs> Heather, you may not go to Disney again <laughs> until, until your album cruise <laughs> album is done. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm going in January. <laughs> yeah, see? That trip will be canceled, and Tanya and I will be going in your place. Mm-hmm. Right, Tanya? And we, and we won't be running. <laughs> we won't be running. <laughs> and we won't even go pick up your shirt and metal. <laughs> so I'll finish it in two two months. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it, all, it all depends. It just all depends on how you want to scrap it. You yeah. can get it done in that amount of time. But you you're can. not going to be able to do all the bells and whistles. Yeah, I want to do all the bells. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have, like, all my lists of um, kits and stuff I want to buy on Black Friday when I know the stores have sales. <laughs> then we will see your <laughs> All the cruise things. Yes. <laughs> really, six years. Did I mention my 2007 book's not done yet? Yeah. <laughs> so you know what you need to do, I think? This is how I think you should try doing it so that you can get done. Go through and scrap a layout. And then come back and add embellishments. Do all of that. Batch process it. Get all of your photos on the layout. Yeah. Add your. I've done that before, and it actually is a lot faster. If you just go through and create Photoshop canvases, put all your photos on the layout for all of them that you're going to do, save them by their names, and then come back and add your papers to all of them, and then come back and add your embellishments to all of them. It really speeds things that is, up. That is a um, like a Becky Higgins way of... Like, put all the photos in their pockets and then come back and then add the cards and add the journaling and do all that stuff. Like, I like that process, personally. Yeah. I think you should try it just to see if it speeds it up for you. You're sitting here laughing. (laughs) She's not laughing. She's eye-rolling. We just can't see it. We can't see it. We can hear it. I can hear something. We can hear it. We can hear hear your eye-roll. I was thinking I should have, like, Tanya do that for mm. like put the oh! pictures in the stuff for me <laughs> maybe you should hire someone on fiverr yeah right <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you girls for being here let's remind our listeners again where they can find you heather uh, my character site is heatherw.com slash characters i love characters and on instagram and twitter and pinterest and whatever else <laughs> is out there i'm heather w25 and on facebook my character page is i love characters perfect thanks so much and tanya you can find me on all social media at tanya h666 and my website is everymagicmoment.com okay thank you very much and we will see you next time on capturing magic